What's up YouTube, Spudnips here, and today I'm actually going to show you what I'm going to be sending to PSA. We're also going to be going on my predictions on what I'm going to get, and when they come back we'll see how close I was. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, I'm going to be going over my cards. I'm going to be sending to PSA probably here within the next month or so. Um, so let's start it off with a first edition Lod Injection Fairy Lily. Now the front's really good. Centering's off on the left to the right, but the the back is pretty much what I know is going to default me. I know it's definitely not going to be a 10 because there's one long streak right there. That is definitely gonna cost me the corners are pretty good but um i'm thinking it's gonna be like seven eight there's not, there's no way it gets a nine or a ten um but yeah there's that one um next is going to be a tomb gemini elf from oce from the i actually don't know what set this was from but it looks like it's in really good condition i've never played with it um there's no marks on the front from what i can tell Switch it to the back. Oh, there is a smudge on the back, right there in the middle. Um, there's no print lines or anything. I'm gonna guess an eight on this one, but we'll see what they come back with. Next is Big Shield Gardena um, from OC and Ultra Rare as well. The front looks really nice. Um, I don't see any any issues with the front. I don't think there was no print lines when I last checked. Um, no smudges, nothing like that. So let's flip it over to the back. Um, back looks really clean actually like really clean these cards are pretty clean um, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna lowball I'm gonna guess a 9 on this one but I'm hoping for a 10 then I have the command knight Japanese near mint from the structured deck Joey um, I just like this card so that's what I'm sending in but there's a slice in, slight indention right here I don't know if you see that so most of these cards are all from my collection though i'm not going to sell them or anything so i'm just sending them in to see what they get so i can add them to my collection um but the back there's a few scratches on it nothing too major though so i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess a nine on this one as well then i have a magic cylinder oce as well um it actually has a little spot right here but it's a hollow so i don't know if that's like a hollow bleed or that's going to be like a a misprint or what that technically not a misprint but um you know what i mean and then there's a few scratches here on the front right there there's a big long one so i'm gonna guess a seven on this one without even looking at the back back look re really nice but it's like this up front that's gonna get me right where that scratch is right there then i have a volantis the um adjudicator from the enemy of justice or yeah enemy of justice i believe that's it um, it's a non, it's a, it's an unlimited, but it's been sleeved up and I've never used it. Looks pretty good on the front. The back looks pretty clean, but I'm always going to lowball it. I'm going to say, centering is actually really nice on this card. I'm going to say a nine. Uh, I'll say an, I'll say an eight on this one. Um, so this one's just for my collection. Dark Magician of Chaos from the, um, which is one the kingdom is this kingdom of games kingdom of games yugi's legendary decks yeah that's what this one is king of games sorry not kingdom but yeah this one looks really nice i just like the artwork so basically i'm gonna get it graded for myself um i don't see any issues with the front let's look at the back there's one small indention up here at the top it's like right up here i don't know if you can see it uh right there but other than that, it looks pretty flawless to me. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say an eight to a nine on that one. Then I have a magician of black chaos from the same set. Um, like I said, I just like the artwork. Uh, black a magician of black chaos is just a really good, really good cards. Um, I don't see anything really wrong with the front. No print lines, maybe. Don't see many. Don't. Well, I don't know if there's scratches or not. Can't really tell. Let's look at the back. The back looks pretty clean to me. I don't see any major 
major lines. Um, let's look at the centering on this. Centering left to right up to bottom is probably within the marks, but we'll have to see. And I have a blue eyes purple from the um, Legendary Duelist Season 2. So I just want to get this one graded for my own collection. It is a first edition, but the centering you can tell is way off on the left to right, right to left, or left to right, and then the top to bottom. Has no print lines, nothing like that on the front. The back is in really good condition last I checked. There's no imprint, smudges, anything like that. So, oh, I guess I forgot. Um, so I was going to say an 8 or a 9 on this one. This one I'm probably 8 or 9. And I would say 8 or 9 on this. I don't think I have any too, too many damaged cards I'm actually going to send. So I don't think the grades will be that low. Of course, I don't know. much about like actually sending them i've only done one psa submission before this is a toon dragon from the uh, dragons of legends complete series this is the blue first edition i want to send this in for myself but this one has some i think they're print lines from the top to bottom in the picture you see them right there right there unless that is the art i'm not quite sure and then the back looks pretty pretty good to me i was going to say a nine on this one probably an eight though then I have a Harpy's Pet Dragon from Legendary Duelist Season 2 as well. I just like this card, so <laughs> I wanted to get it sent in for grading. This one is first edition too, just like the Blue Eyes was. Just look at that hollow. Look how it just shines. That's why I like this card. Oh, well, let's get to the back. My bad. I forgot to show you all the back. Back looks pretty good as well. I'll run this light on it. Looks pretty good. Um, I would say 8 to 9 on this one. Now these cards are going to be older cards. Um, so these these I'm just sending just for nostalgia. Um, they are they do have some scratches and stuff. But I'm, I just, just want to get them graded. You know. Um, here's a red eyed blue, uh, black dragon from the Cyberdeck Joey. Um, first edition. We've had this since I was a little kid. This is one of the few that aren't messed up. <laughs> from playing with them. You know. You know, little kids you, you didn't think about anything about collecting you're just like I want to play with cards you know so a lot of them of ours are messed up but we have a few that are in good condition I think this one here it has a line on the back if I'm not mistaken so I think the other one would get an 8 maybe a 9 if I'm lucky this one will probably yeah see this one has a crease at the top this one I don't think is going to get much higher than like maybe a 6 because of that crease. This one, um, I just want to send for myself. Like I said, most of these cards are for myself. Uh, this one's clearly beaten up. There's a lot of whitening on this one, but Summon Skull is just an iconic card. So I just want to get this from the 2002 Collector's Tins. You can see the corners, top corners are pretty pretty rough. But that artwork is just, just amazing. Um, the back, I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, there's some smudges on it. Um, the corner right here is bent. You all that whitening at the top. But I just want to get this one graded for myself. Um, a few honorable mentions. Just some things I have in my collection. I do have a first edition Magic Cylinder I was debating on sending. I may or may not still send that one. It's in pretty nice condition as well. Then I have a Masked Beast first edition. Hey, this one's also in nice condition. Um, may or may not send it, but the, the centering on this one was very off, so I was like debating on whether or not I should even send it. This one also has a little scuffed corner up here. And then I have a first edition SYE, Dark Magician. Um, I don't think this one would have gotten a good grade. I think I was just going to keep this one like this as is. And I just want to show you all some cards I have in my collection. I'm not going to send them off to get graded because they're pretty beat up from playing with them. Um, but first off, we have Dark Magician from Cyber Deck or Structure Deck Yugi. OG card right here. It's seen better days, you know. But of course, we played with them. This one has been passed around. You you can tell it's been beat up, played with, and taped even at the top when we were younger. We kind of didn't put this one in the sleeve, so this one's kind of really beat up. But I want to show you all this is the one I'm keeping in my collection. Then I have three others, Blue Eyes, from the um, Structure Deck Kaiba. All of them. These are in okay condition. I would say moderately played. Some are heavy played. 
um, like this one, this one has a few creases on the side, I would say heavy played, so, uh, yeah, I just, you know, have these three in my set as well, um, if this one wasn't, and I'd send this one off, if this one wasn't in a bad condition, but it's kind of terrible, Song of the Thunder, first edition from Metal Raiders, the back and the back corner is what's get, what is, what will get me, so there's no point in sending it, all that white markings on the back, the corner, the top is all messed up. This would have been a really good card to send um, had we not played with it when we were kids. Um, I also have Black Luster Soldier, first edition. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of seen better days as well. And the back is kind of, yeah. You can tell we played with these a lot and um, we weren't in the collector's mind whenever we were playing with them. You know, we, you know your kids, you just want to play with cards, so yeah, we played with them. <laughs> um, I have a Jar of Greed, Legend, Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition as well. Um, I have a lot of first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare stuff, uh, debating on whether I should send them or not. Maybe it'll be in the next PSA submission, but definitely not in this one. Um, I have a non-first edition, so Unlimited, The Last Warrior from Another Planet, Thalon. Um, I actually have the full set of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Half or I would say three quarters are in first, and the others are in unlimited. So, Royal Command Unlimited from Lawn. These are pretty nice cards, not really played with. Um, I have a Mask of Restrict first edition from Lawn as well. Um, debating on whether I should send this in the second PSA submission, it's not really damaged in any way. Um, torrent Torrential Tribute. Uh, unlimited for lawn, but it has a messed up corner. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't want to send that one in with the messed up corner. There, you can see the back. It's even worse. So that one's just, just one of my sets. I was really hoping I had this in first edition, but I don't. Gemini Elf, this one's a really good card. Um, it's really good condition, too. Um, sadly, this is unlimited. It had, does have a little messed up on the top corner, but other than that, its front is pretty clean. And then the last card I have to show y'all is Revival Jam, first edition from Lawn. Um, just an iconic card, you know, uh, from the old sets. Has a messed up corner here, chipped off. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did, so this one's definitely not. And then you can see the centering from top to bottom, and the left to right's way off on the back. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my cards, my collections, my PSA submissions, um, what I'm going to, what I, basically what I went for and hopefully what I get out of them so we'll see if when they come back we'll do another video and see how far off I was and how close I was so yep um, until next time until they come back and I'll let you know when I do send them off so that way we we can keep track but until until they come back um, um, I hope you enjoy the videos I put out until then and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already peace